guys. I haven't seen any of my chips and peeps in a long time. And, uh, well, I kind of have an unboxing. It's not really, you guys, you guys have seen this guitar before, and I have seen this guitar before as well. But you see, we had a fire in the basement, and the insurance company took all the shit that was down there, and they put it in all this bubble wrap. So this is kind of like an unboxing, but uh, I haven't seen this in like a couple, well, probably about a month. Probably about a month. But uh, I, I made a compilation of videos, or of guitar solos, guitar solo videos that I did with this, because I realized that playing in a band with a guitar is a lot different than just you know, jerking around with it when you're on your own. And this is the Ch uh, Chips and Flying V that uh, I bought probably a couple years ago. I got it from AliExpress. Uh, I'm going to give you my opinions of it, but since everybody loves unboxing videos, I figured, hey, I'm just going to unbox this Chips and I guess. It's sort of an un unboxing. But I got my box cutter from the insurance company. Got to make sure it don't scratch it. It is kind of fun to open up stuff. It's kind of wasteful that the insurance company puts all this crap on it. I had a fire. I bought a halogen light. And I left it plugged in. It wasn't turned on, but it was left plugged in. And it caused a fire at my brother's house. It sucked. Because we don't have anywhere to practice anymore, but... Let's see if it smells like smoke. It's kind of like a review of like smoke damage experts, but this is this is the chips and uh, uh, come on, come on, come on! Why won't you open up? So this is the Chipson. Oh my god, it's on tune. I haven't seen it in like a month. Who knows what they had this in the warehouse. Like I had other guitars that were supposedly in the vicinity of the uh, fire that happened. And of course the, the uh, insurance company, they... Uh, clean it and stuff but I'm like man you know what it's just like there's probably nothing wrong with it it's just like but who knows what kind of climate they kept it in because I feel like that even my other like American guitars like the seems like that the needs a little bit of an adjustment oh really out of tune but this is not from I mean this guitar is from China but this unboxing it's just from the insurance company, but I figured, what the hell, people like unboxing shit. And it was kind of fun to open it up on camera. But you're going to see what it's like to play in the band with the chips in. scale length so I can't really judge it that close but I do feel like that there is a, a kind of a difference a little bit like I don't feel as sure and ready about this as I do like probably my Japanese guitars like my Japanese Fender I hate to say it but uh, I don't feel like it's quite as reliable <laughs>
Gibson guitars are pretty much just a status symbol. <laughs> primarily a Fender player, I thought that like a Flying V looks really cool, but I'm not going to spend thousands of dollars for a Flying V that looks like this. I used to have an HP Pro, and they got like the faded Flying V. Those are like all like around a thousand dollars or under, but like for, but I, I like the really fancy looking ones, but in all honesty, they're kind of awkward to play, so I'm kind of glad that I only got this fake one. They're not the greatest uh, quality video, and they're not the greatest playing. I, there's a lot of guys that can play me under the table, but uh, you're going to get to hear what this Chipson sounds like in the context of a live band. <laughs> Text of playing with a band at full band volume live because that's when it really matters if the guitar can stay in tune and all that stuff. But you'll you'll get to hear what they sound like. <laughs> are all in different keys and stuff uh, but th this is all this guitar in action it's it plays decently it does play decently the only issues are probably maybe a little too, bit of tuning but I don't know if I can improve it by maybe putting on some heavier strings because I, I think the heavier strings tend to hold tune a little bit better uh, I think it looks cool 
I'm not tr I'm not trying to be a brand whore anymore. I'm not trying to support Gibson or Fender or any of those because I feel like I don't give a fuck. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't. I don't think it really matters what brand you play. It's more of a status symbol. It's not going to make or break you to have a Fender or a Gibson if you don't have one. I think that a good player, dude. Like I don't think I sound that much worse on this than I do like one of my real guitars, you know. All depends on how much I practice. But I thought I'd give a shout out to all my Gibson Chips and United peeps and try to show them that, yeah, I'm still here. I haven't been doing my YouTube channel that much, but it still has kind of that, that Chinese paint smell, which is a good smell. I like it. Reminds me of Christmas. The last guitar I bought was last Christmas. I've almost gone a whole year without buying guitar, a guitar. Can't believe it. That's like the longest I've gone without buying guitar in probably like a decade. And it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. Like, I used to buy guitars all the time, but the last guitar I bought was a Chipson Les Paul. That was last year. That was exciting, but I, ha I haven't had the... I've just kind of, like... Uh, got out of the materialistic aspects of, of collecting gear because I finally got in another band. And that's what you just heard were those solos and stuff. And now that I'm in a band, I don't feel the need to collect a bunch of stuff, which is kind of a way of expressing your creativity is by accumulating crap. It's a whole other subject about materialism and all that crap. And uh, I don't really know what I think about that, but yeah, but I hope you enjoyed the the get the chips and flying V's solo video. Thank you, and if you want to, please like and subscribe. I'm in a band in Detroit. Uh, we're called the Vulgars. But eh, it doesn't really matter. Who gives a who? Who gives a who? See ya. Bye bye.